Hello there, I'm Mary with Commonwealth Credit Union and I am happy to be here today to share with you some great news. You have access to an incredible financial empowerment site called Smart Cards. It is Commonwealth Credit Union's gift to the full community of University of Louisville that includes students, faculty, staff, and alumni. So um, if you were looking for an opportunity to learn more about your finances and find things out like your financial personality, this is definitely a video to watch. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are at louisville.igrad.com. Once you're here, you will click on Get Started. It's free, and it is always free. We don't sell anything on the site. Uh, you're never asked for money for anything. There's no advertisements. It is just our gift to you. So you'll put in your name, and I'm gonna put in a test account real quick here. Now when you get to this spot, you'll click on this arrow and you're gonna mark whether you're an alumni, faculty, staff, a REACH learning contract, or a student. Okay, now that we've gotten into the account, um, it's going to welcome you to iGrad. So you're gonna click Get Started here, and it's just going to quickly run through the elements that are on the platform, basically. Talk to you about recommendations after you do your financial wellness checkup, um, uh, the concept of understanding your money personality, how it's here to help you stay on track with your finances, and then it will just ask you to start your financial wellness checkup. Uh, the checkup is really important. The platform is actually algorithm based and uh, run with artificial intelligence. So the more you put into the platform, the more it's going to learn about you and the better experience you'll have. It'll personalize your journey. So here we are uh, ready to do our financial wellness checkup. We're going to click on next. It's going to ask your birthday. Uh, that helps inform the algorithm. Uh, also, uh, you have to be 13 or over to utilize the sites. All right, it will ask you if you're a student, and if, it, if you are a student using this, you will say yes. And then it will start asking you a series of other questions to help develop your own personalized um, experience. So, I'm just going to fast forward through these, and I'll see you at the end of them. Okay, so when you get to this point, you can type in anything about your finances that uh, you want some help on, and that actually will also inform the algorithms. So, I'm just going to put budgeting for today. All right, it'll analyze your answers, and then it's going to um, start processing that to give you your own personalized experience. And as you'll see in just a moment, it's going to actually pop up a dashboard. Okay, so here we are on the dashboard. Uh, the great thing about this is you get to personalize it. Uh, not only does it have your name, uh, but it gives you an opportunity to go ahead and put in a profile picture. You also get to choose a cover photo of your top financial goal. Now what this does is it offers several suggestions and you can see there's quite a few of them. So there we go, I've got my profile picture, I've got my top financial goal as my cover page there, uh, and that helps me stay on track. Now the next thing I wanna do is to go into tools and do my money personality assessment. So I'm gonna click on that. Okay, so here we are on the money personality assessment. And instead of me telling you all about it up front, let's just run through and do it real quickly. I wanna show you how fast this can be done. It should take you five to 10 minutes to answer the questions. Uh, but we'll fast forward a little bit. So let's get started. Okay. 
Okay, so as you can see, that was really quick. And it has your own little booklet that it generates. It gives you an introduction, and then it breaks down the assessment into these five different chapters. So first of all, it's going to talk about your emotions with money, uh, kind of what, what is your attitude towards money. It will talk about your outlook. Um, are you someone who tends to be a little bit more optimistic or you know pessimistic when you're dealing with money? Um, what about your focus? Are you someone who looks forward to the future, or looks behind, or is, you know, sort of lives in the present? And influence. Are you an independent uh, thinker when it comes to your money decisions, or uh, do you often have influence uh, by friends, family, or even Hollywood? And then there's always a bonus chapter, and that's a, an individual trait that's going to just highlight of yours and talk about how that impacts your wallet. So let's just look inside the booklet real quickly. So here's what the introduction looks like. You get the why behind the need to know your financial personality. Uh, you understand the science about behavioral economics and how this was developed. And then they'll also talk to you about how the book is laid out. And let me just show you how it is. So first of all, it's gonna have every chapter lay out what the uh, character type is and what your trait is. So, when I did this, just clicking, uh, I came up as apprehensive in my emotions. It's my, I'm, I have an apprehensive attitude about money, all right? So that will tell me what it means. It'll tell me how I compare to everyone else who's taken this assessment. And what I love, it gives me my three biggest strengths and my three biggest challenges based on that personality type. Another great thing is it gives you three specific action items. Uh, put your financial life on autopilot. Engage in practical daydreaming. Write out your budget. You know, three very specific action steps that I as an apprehensive person with my money could do. Now, I won't go through the details of each of these, but you'll see that um, Outlook lays out the exact same way. Um, focus does. Influence and then the bonus chapter. And this is a fun one. Uh, this says that I am change seeking in that. And then again, strengths, challenges, and action steps. So that's the money personality. So after you do that, you would just hit back up, you'd be back on your dashboard, and we'd go to the next thing. Let's go into tools. That's where we picked up our money personality. We're gonna click on that. And I want, I want to show you the different tools that are available. One of the best things available is the scholarship search. So we're gonna click on that real quickly. As you can see, the scholarship search um, has many ways that you can sort. Uh, I sometimes just decide to see, well, okay, what's the highest dollar amount that's out there right now? I found one on here that was $650,000 for someone going into the medical field. I also know of someone who went on and uh, found one. He did a TikTok video and got $2,000 for it. So there's all sorts of stuff on here. So I encourage you to go into the scholarships tool. All right, let's look at the other tools. We have the expert resume critique. There's also a job search on here. There's a budget uh, tool. There's um, all sorts of things. As you can see, there's several calculators. Uh, one of my favorite is the millionaire calculator right here that you can plug in a couple of numbers and date ranges and kind of figure out how long it will take you and how much it will take you to become a millionaire. Okay, so let's look at courses. Uh, as you can see, we can start with banking with financial institutions and go all the way up to mastering credit and optimizing your score and a bunch of other stuff in between. We work with a company called iGrad and they actually add a new course every quarter. Then we have topics. When you click on the search bar, it pulls this up, but look here before we search for a certain word, there's actually a contest that shows up when you do that. So if the company that we work with on this platform is doing a sweepstakes, it will show up here. So this is really awesome where you have the opportunity to, to read a, a short article, answer a couple of questions. If you get them right, you're entered in for a $250 Visa gift card to sweepstakes. Now, let's go back though and look. Let's say earlier I wanted to learn about budgeting. So I just put budget in. 
and I'm going to click on see all results and it generates 405 results for budget. So I could get a little bit more specific. Um, let's see if I put in budget for wedding. There we go, I've got 11 results for that. But let's just say I wanna do something fun and see if it'll show up. How about dog? Okay, there's articles on here for your pets. We even put the other day in, we put polar bear just to see what would happen. And we had a hit on that too. So as you can see, there is a bunch of information on this site. And that is Smart Cards. I hope you'll go in and take advantage of everything that's on the platform, especially the money personality. Thanks for letting me share today.